What is going on everyone? It's your boy Sinister Cobra and welcome back to another Halo video. Today we are going to be taking a look at Season 7 also named Elite. That's right, Season 7 is finally here and along with it came a handful of changes. Let's go through them real quick. So of course we got the new customization content, we'll be going over that later in this video. We also have the introduction of the custom game browser. Of course, if you do not have access to this just yet, feel free to go watch my previous video on this as it basically functions the same way. Next, we finally have Waterfall and Edge, the brand new Halo 3 maps ported over from Halo Online. They are finally available in social matchmaking playlists. And of course, speaking of social matchmaking, Firefight is now an option in social matchmaking, so you can now browse for both Reach and ODST game types. Right now, we only have available to us is the Heroic Firefight, Arcade Firefight, Blam Fight, and Sniper Fight. If you missed my previous video on this new Firefight update, 343 did mention that this will allow them to rotate in new playlists every now and again. Next, of course, we have some visual upgrades to Halo CE, bringing the MCC version a lot more closer to the original Xbox version. Next, we also have some updates into the extras menu. So these options that you see with the little square and arrow, these will take you to an external site for viewing them. But if we go into the video section, we can now watch all the terminals and Halo 2 Anniversary cinematics within the game itself without having to use an external app. Next, we have an introduction to Halo Combat Evolve mod tools. Of course, this is available for the PC version only. I think with the introduction of the custom game browser and the crossplay we have going on, I think bringing mods over to consoles is a lot closer to being a reality than in the past. And finally, of course, there are a bunch of bug fixes. There are way too many to cover in this video, but again, I will have the link in the description if you guys do want to take a look at those. So now what you guys have all come here for is the brand new customization stuff. First, let's take a look at the challenge hub. So as we saw in the last few seasons, they are introducing customization unlocks through challenges. Now this season is no different. In order to get one of the brand new sword skins, we have to complete the Elite Swordplay Challenge. Next, we have the Nightcrawler Season Challenge. This one unlocks a brand new undersuit. Finally, we have Pixel Perfect, which unlocks a brand new skin for the Battle Rifle. Now, as for the Season Pass goes, we have 100 tiers once again. First, we have the Blood Blade skin, the Mark V helmet for Halo 4, the General Elite helmet for Halo 3, keyboard for Halo 3. Again, I went through most of these elite armors in my previous video about the Season 7 flight. We have a brand new animated nameplate called Red Shift. Another new nameplate called Mausoleum. This is a nameplate including the Arbiter. A brand new tech suit Gen 2 Umber. Nameplate Mr. Leet, a Magnum skin EWK edge work, another animated nameplate Blue Shift, Super Combine nameplate, Assault Rifle skin Riptide, nameplate Speaking the Truth. Tech suit Gen 2 Army Green, Magnum Skin Blood, and of course we have the Halo Reach armor effects being introduced into Halo 4. Nameplate Assault. It looks like the cover art for the Spartan Assault game. Nameplate Pixel Flare. DMR Skin Bones. Nameplate Strike, which again, I think this is the cover artworks for the Spartan Strike game. Storm Rifle Skin Chill. Again, the Halo 4 Champions Bundle DLC is included in this season. 
Nameplate SOS. Nameplate Heat of Battle. This one's pretty cool. Can't tell if this is Combat Evolved or Halo Wars. I haven't played Halo Wars, so it could be a cutscene from that. Let me know down in the comment section below if you know where this is from. We got the Necroplasma Energy Sword skin. And to go along with that skin, we have the Green Shift animated nameplate. Requiem, spelled with a W. Get two nameplates on this tier, Gradient and Palmer. Uh, I believe Gradient is the one on the left, looks like a Halo Reach pistol, and of course Palmer referring to everyone's favorite character, Sarah Palmer. We have the Edgework Battle Rifle skin. Unlikely Allies animated nameplate. Mandible nameplate, the Maw Battle Rifle skin, Concrete DMR skin, Pixel Magnum skin, the Maw Magnum skin, Refractive Suppressor skin, of course the legendary flames for your Halo 4 Spartan, and Gage Carbine skin, Pixel Assault Rifle skin, Icons Animated Nameplate, Master Chief and Arbiter back to back, that one's pretty cool. Edge Work DMR skin, Revolution Animated Nameplate, Pixel DMR skin, Gen 2 Slate Gray Tech Suit. Mark of Legends Animated Nameplate. And last but not least, Eternal Blue Flaming Helmet as the final unlock for Season 7. So there you have it guys, every single item in Season 7. But before we go, there is one more thing. The exchange, of course the new season means brand new exchange items. Here we have the Light of Jury Energy Sword Skin, Gen 2 Burnt Ground Tech Suit. Coming next week of course we have other items including a Warthog Skin, Corrosion, Gen 2 Perplex, Dark Star Energy Skin, and we have the Halo Infinite Keystone slash Mark 7 helmet, which comes free with Season 7. All you have to do is basically buy the Master Chief Collection and you get this helmet for free. Exactly zero season points. I guess technically everything in the in the seasons in the unlock season pass is free. But this one is free free where you have to pay zero season points. So Go and get your helmet already. This is going to be my permanent helmet for Halo 4 now. Perhaps maybe even my helmet in Halo Infinite. We shall see. But anyways guys, that's going to do it for this video as always. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And leave me a comment down below with your thoughts on this brand new season. I know once I unlock the specific elite armor that I want, I will be playing as the dinosaurs for the foreseeable future, so that's pretty exciting. Let me know what elite armor is your favorite. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one.